Hello everybody and welcome to another Tech Minute video. My name is Tom from Six Foot Networks. Thank you for joining me in my driveway today. So, you guys know that we own a 2020 Chevrolet Bolt EV. This is the premier uh, trim. And uh, yesterday we were made aware that uh, the recall, the battery recall for these vehicles was extended to all Chevrolet Bolt EVs, including the 2022 model uh, year. So now, of course, the first thing is everybody panics, right? Because, oh my God, my car's going to blow up. Well, that's not entirely true. So these cars are made really well. Um, they're definitely made a lot better than some of the older models, the 2017s and 18s. You know, a lot of things have changed, and uh, GM did a lot of, uh, you know, upgrades between models when it came to the the newer models of this car. So, not only are there uh, technological differences within, but there is also a much larger capacity battery in this car than there was in some of the older vehicles, but... What I'm going to do right now, and to, to not make this a 50-hour video, I'm actually going to take you inside this car, and I'm going to show you the steps that GM essentially said for all Chevrolet Bolt owners to take. Oh, it's hot in here. Got to love that animation. Okay, so first things first, we're going to turn the car on and get some airflow in here because it's mighty warm. And uh, I just lost my airplay adapter. But essentially, it's going to get loud. Sorry. Okay, a little bit of airflow just to keep myself from melting down. So anyway... Here's the, the display. And you can see here on this battery window that I'm currently at about 90%. So each one of these lines is 5%. So I'm at 90%. And that's essentially what GM said in the recall to do. If we go to charging and we look at target charge level, you can see that I'm pretty much telling the car to only charge 90%. I can go higher, and you can see here what the range has changed to, or you can go lower. And essentially, right now, my car is at 90%, so it wouldn't even take a charge. It would just kind of stop in its tracks. And that's it. So that was the first part of the of the suggested fix that, that you know GM sent out. The other part of that was that they said, do not let your battery discharge below 70 miles of range so if you i'm going to turn you back around if you can see here this is your what some of the bolt owners have called the guesso meter because that's about as dynamic as it gets when it comes to a range estimator so at current charge which is 90 percent my maximum capable mileage is 186 miles my minimum would be a hundred and 29 and then average it would be about 158 miles typically we go by this number just because these two fluctuate um, a little bit too much for you know what it's worth now you can see my car is just under 10,000 miles and I've had zero issues with it in fact this is this has got to be my ever favorite car like in all the cars I think I've had 12 in my lifetime um, all of them were sub $2,000 cars. Um, some of the recent model ones were relatively expensive. Uh, you know, the, the diesel Jetta that I had before this one was very expensive, but it was still cheaper because of the, the Volkswagen's emission scandal. But essentially, if you look at this, you want to make sure that this is above 70 miles. So typically... My guess would be 70 miles would be just around 25%, maybe 
maybe. I've never really taken it down that low. And even when I do take it down that low, I'm typically driving freeway speeds. So my range typically tends to be much larger than average. So the moral of this video essentially is that use your best judgment, follow what Chevy is saying, follow what GM is saying, and make sure that, you know, you charge outside. You can see that the car is in my driveway. It's not inside. Actually, I can't even pull in there because our garage is a gym. So if I pulled this car into the garage, my car would become the new squat rack. And I'm sure I don't necessarily want that for this car. But suffice it to say, I don't have any concerns about it. You know, I've read the recall. I've seen the the stories on um, online that were published by... Um, you know, all the media, the even GM's own reports of the previous fires that have happened. And you know what? Lithium ion batteries, which is what's in these cars, they're really awesome batteries. They're long lasting. They absolutely are, are, you know, very resilient to a lot of things. And the car has, you know, a cooling system. It has a battery management system. It has everything you can think of that it you know you can put into a car to keep it keep the battery safe this car has so does tesla so does every other car because it's it's common sense you know as an engineer i trust other engineers by default you know i trust you know you have to get through a certain you know education and experience level to become a lead designer a lead engineer a chief engineer at a place like GM, at a place like Chevrolet or, you know, any other car maker in the world. It's not like, you know, you show up with your resume and say, hey, I'm a chief engineer and, and I'm going to design your next car. No, I'm pretty sure you have to do that over the course of 20 or 30 years. And then, you know, your experience is validated over time. Um, at least that's my opinion, and I, I'm pretty much sticking to it because I've seen some of these guys. I, I know people that I know people that work for Ford. I know people that work for uh, Toyota, and you know, I also I, I know independent mechanics that service these things. You know, some of them have better things to say. Some of them have worse things to say. I have not found a single person uh, from the gasoline or diesel world uh, mechanic wise that has said anything bad about this car. And maybe it's because it's just very low maintenance and very easy to service. Um, as far as the routine 7,500 mile thing goes, I just did mine. And you know what? They had the car for 15 minutes and I thought to myself, how can it be done already? And they said, well, we just check fluids and we, uh, you know, we rotate tires <laughs> and we have to program the TPMS or whatever. Uh, for the tire pressure monitoring system so that way the car knows you know which uh where the the sensors are in relationship to the in in relation to the receiver so that way if your if your car indicates that your back right back passenger side tire went flat that it's actually that tire and not the left front one or whatever but anyway you know all that aside i trust this car i i've like I said, I've put almost 10,000 miles on it. I bought it Thanksgiving of 2020. Um, it was a, essentially an early Christmas gift for myself. And I can't think of a better car that I've had. You know, I'm six foot five and I have so much headroom. I mean, there's like, you know, a whole hand between top of my head and the ceiling. I mean, I have the chair all the way down, but you know, I'm also not all the way back in a chair. I, I have probably, I don't know, that was probably six inches. And now I can barely reach the pedal. This car is made for a seven foot tall person, essentially. And I don't see any reason to panic. Seriously, this car was designed very well. It is my opinion, obviously. So don't skimp on the recall. Don't ignore it. Don't throw it in the trash. If you have a Chevrolet Bolt or any other Chevrolet vehicle that's OnStar connected, please open your My Chevrolet app, log in, read the recalls on it. Make sure that you take care of them. If there's something that's pending, like this battery fire issue with these cars, 
just be patient and follow the suggested recommended actions like the 90% um, target charge uh, setting as well as don't drive the car um, below 70 miles of range, which I'm really thinking it's somewhere around 25, 20, 30, 20 to 30% um, of range. It just depends on how you drive. My lead foot, it'll probably be at 70 miles in 20 minutes, you know. But anyway, take it for what it's worth. I hope this video helps out uh, you uh, electric car owners, especially if you have a Bolt EV. It is a sad... Um, you know, sad story, but you got to remember these cars are only in their fifth year now. Um, this is the fifth production year of the Chevrolet Bolt EV. So it's a relatively new technology. It's bound to have issues. Everything, you know, hits the fan at some point in its, you know, in its early career, so to say. Um, anybody remember the days when Bill Gates debuted, what was it, Windows 98? And uh, he plugged in a mouse on stage. Anybody remember what happened after that? comment below if you remember. Uh, it was funny. Um, and his reaction was priceless. It's all over the internet. You can probably find it, but, um, that's it. I think, uh, I think I've pretty much hashed everything out. Um, I will be getting this recall addressed. Obviously. Um, I think the conversation right now is, uh, will, um, LG, um, I, I think they're LG batteries. I, I don't know exactly where these model batteries came from i thought they were manufactured in the u.s but i don't know where the stock kind of um shifted it, it might be lg it might be something else um i haven't been able to find any documentation in the book or the app or anything that indicates the technology of of lithium ion that's in here or, or the manufacturer of the technology that's that's in here but um suffice it to say if chevy is willing to take a hit and I think LG Chem's willing to take a hit, then the least we can do as consumers is just follow their advice and and take care of it, you know? There's no need to panic. There's no need to, you know, fight them on it. There's no need to threaten them because they're just humans too, after all. So anyway, in the meantime, <laughs> there's the ice cream truck. <laughs> I haven't seen one of those in a while. I can't believe it. That was a nice... Uh, Nice little drive-by. Anyway, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you really like this video and want to see more ice cream trucks, let me know. And subscribe to the channel while you're at it. In the meantime, good luck and have a great rest of the weekend. Take care.